Hello and welcome to www.collectinglouisvuitton.com and today we're doing a product review on a Louis Vuitton Babylon monogram bag. Now the Babylon is a great big shopping bag um, that was quite popular in the, the early 90s there. It seems to have been replaced by a lot of people by the Neverfull and uh, I, I kind of think the, the Babylon's got a few advantages over the Neverfull. Uh, it's a bit more stiffer, it's, 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 it's uh, a bit more structured I, in, my, in my opinion. And uh, this is a piece here that I owned when I was overseas. And um, just having a look at it there, it was a piece I bought second hand. And the, the, the handles had the beautiful honeycomb leather that had aged quite nicely there. And um, it was a very nice piece there. Um, it had a bit of wear, so it, it certainly wasn't a perfect piece. But sometimes with these pieces that have had a bit of wear, you're not so hesitant about using them. You, you tend to think, oh, well, it's got a bit of wear. I'll, I'll use it myself there. And, and they, those can be the best pieces to have there because if it gets another scratch or a bit of a damage to it, it's, it's not so hurtful as a, a brand new mint piece. And having a look at this piece here, it's got a beautiful interior. The interior was quite nice on this piece. And uh, um, I, I've, um, unfortunately, at the time, I, 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 um, it was one of those things. You sort of, you have the piece and then you think, oh, well, I'll, I'll flip it for something else. And um, it was a great piece. And um, I think if you've got one of these, it's certainly a, a lovely thing to, to keep in your collection. Thanks very much for watching this review and please don't forget to come to my Louis Vuitton reference library website www.collectinglouisvuitton.com. Thank you.